All right, hello, and welcome back to Caves of Good. We're gonna be doing a historic site. One of my favorite things to do. Cause, um, you know, like, the, one of the ultimate fun <laughs> uh, of, of Cud is, um, you know, discovering fun or interesting novel trinkets, fun, you know, just like, just things, you know, like, I, I love just hoarding in Cud, you know, I don't own any, a place, but if I did, then, uh, you know, not in Cud anyway, uh, one day I will do a run with the Hearthpire, uh, mod, but, um, you know, I don't own a place, but if I did, it would just be filled to the brim with things, you know, various trinkets and artifacts, we're gonna do a cook, we're gonna do a cook, I am, like, very good with words right now. I'm just, like, hot off of doing a bunch of, you know, various recordings. And my brain uh, box is function good, maybe. You know. There's a campfire. Uh, where is this campfire? Where, where? There's already a campfire here. I mean, I don't see it. What, what campfire are you talking about? Where is the campfire? My dude. My dude, where's the campfire? I don't know where it is. There's already a campfire here. I don't agree. I don't think there is. All right, well, we're gonna go upstairs and cook something because um, I, I, am, I am inspired and I would like to make a thing. Uh, and you know what I would like to make actually, choose ingredients to cook with is we're gonna try again to get this, um, the proper con uh, skulk meal. Oh my god. I think that if you've already got a recipe, you shouldn't be able to get it again. And I, I guess I don't have that one. But man, man am I not getting what I want. Uh, I've, I've actually been getting really unlucky with specifically cooking in this game. In this run, I've been getting lucky with everything else, of course, but specifically cooking has just been like a chore, and uh, I mean it generally is. I'm I've I've been very vocal about my not uh, making the most out of the cooking mechanic. That was a lot of gibbon I had to fight through just now. I remember like was it like my first major playthrough of Cud? I died to a legendary gibbon. That was heartbreaking. The first like major death in in Cud was was pretty heartbreaking because I was like, oh, th this could be the one. This could finally be the one where I I beat Cud, or I at least get far. You know, like I crack the code, I figure it out. Turns out there is no like, you know, epiphany moment of figuring it out in Cud. There is just many many epiphanies. And over time, you just kind of collect epiphanies, and uh, and then if, you know, and then you have enough of them stored, like little nuts stored away for winter, and uh, that you can like, okay, I, I know what to do in this situation. Here's a winter. Here's a winter. Here's a winter. I know what to do here. Um, I knew what to do there, but I didn't do it. But now I know, and you know, like you know, for me personally. I don't need, you know, I need to, I need to learn lessons multiple times, <laughs> unfortunately, um, in order to, like, actually have, have that muscle mem memory built up. You really, like, I have to learn m miserable lessons, much like training a muscle, and, uh, you know, and ev eventually I will learn what I need to do, like how to, you know, play the game correctly. Um, I almost like would almost like like to do, you know, a, 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 new, a new tutorial series. It's almost like how I built the tutorial series. Was it with the idea in mind that people were going to learn how to play the game like me? It's like here, here are some hard lessons learned um, that you're gonna make multiple times. That'd actually be a pretty good idea for, uh, like, not a series or anything, but just like a one-off video. It's like, here's 20 lessons you should, or 20 mistakes in code you should make right away. 20 lessons you need to make 
um, or, or mistakes you need to make many times in order to, you know, get good at Caves of Cud. Uh, one of those is definitely killing a legendary creature without checking their reputation. 100% you're going to make that mistake a few times. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, definitely, like, uh, a hard learned lesson. Um, you know, not maintaining a relationship with certain factions is, is another kind of hard fought lesson. Um, holding a button down <laughs> and uh, dying due to, to something happening because you were being a bit lackadaisical with your turns. That's definitely a hard, hard learned lesson. Um, oh, that was instantaneous gibbon right there. I was like, uh, you know, I, I poured instant gibbon into the, into the soup. Yo, is there two? There's two cybernetic, uh, becoming nooks here. Nice. I don't know if I'm gaining any XP from quartz baboons. This is why, you know, I, I, well, I, I, th I just, I just picked up some stuff that is in no way useful to me. There's a, I just got a power, a dynamic power plant, which I think is what you need if you want to, uh, power your devices as a true kin. Very funny that I got it. Um, yeah, I've got some comments about Jacked being the, uh, the mod I needed. Um, I'm still a little bit lost as to whether or not Jacked works on recoilers. I feel like it should. Oh, this is not a great situation. Let's go ahead and temper fugue. I just, like, don't want to deal with the situation. There we go. And our, our temporal fugue friends are, are going to go and roam and round, hopefully, a little bit. There we go. Oh, that really brings us brings me back. There's a legendary gibbon right there. Hated by the Hindra Nabela. That's great. Like, if you can get some reputation with a Hindra Nabela, that's, that's kind of fantastic. So, um, you know, uh, I would say that legendary gibbons are pretty tough. You know, my experience with them is, as I mentioned, you know, like, they, they can be pretty tough, but uh, I, I think I have a good chance here. There we go. And our reputation is increased, but we still have to fight off their temporal clones. And I'm just going to mash the uh, attack nearest, and then we're going to check out our box here. So it is a small box. Logical frill of Darsapir, erstwhile hearth of nomads. Uh, this is one of those box. This item obliterates all nearby members of a faction chosen from among those that existed during the time of the Sultanate. I wonder if that uh, includes cherubs. Obliterates all nearby members of a faction chosen from among those that existed during the time of the Sultanate. Hmm, I don't know. I, is that, um, does that include cherubs? If it does include cherubs, then that could be very good because then when eventually I get to the Tomb of the Eaters, um, you know, that'll, that'll be pretty useful for just like wiping out uh, a, hold on a second, um, wiping out all of the cherubs at, uh, you know, surrounding one of the Sultan's tombs. Um, so I can just get one of the faces very quickly. Faces, I don't know what I'm saying. Face masks. That is an achievement, by the way. And I mean, like, technically this series is going to... It, it is. It requires the full playthrough of six different... Well, not six. Technically, I think four characters. Because I have... I think I've collected four different masks. Um, unfortunately, I don't know which masks I collected. I'd have to review the footage. Hey, you know, if someone wants to earn some, like, really, you know, super extra brownie points, maybe you could tell me which masks I've already collected. That would, not unfortunately, um, require you to not just check the series that uh, uh, of of my win, which would be the last series that I put out, but also... Um, some of my streams in which I played Cud. It would be, I think, the last 
stream I played cut. I'm not honestly. I'm not even asking you. I'm like just thinking out loud. What what are the series? So I'd have to check the last stream in which I played cud. And then also, um, yeah, the the last series. So I can do that. Anyway, um, this historic site was really nothing exciting, uh, and we got a kind of not not very exciting item. That's fine. They can't all be winners. I say this a lot, but they can't. So um, we leave, and I have 58 drams. I guess I'm going back to eat freehold. That is what I tend to be doing these days, is do anything, go back to eat freehold, check, check to see if there's some new bits, check to see if there's some new goods, and uh, yeah, just like continue. Reap. Um, Co-processor, phase, oh, they do have some more bits, nice. Phase harmonic, polarized, well, that's nice. Goggles, plasma grenade, mark one, stasis grenade, mark two. Bits. Uh, oh, and a AI mi master unit. That's that's what we need. Microcontrollers. And uh, I should go to e Ezra and get another Ezra recoiler. Um, we could sell. I guess I have a new, another. Oh, I don't want to sell the thermo cask because they're actually AI microcontrollers. Um, and we have some albino ape hearts. That's great. So we can make some more Hulk. Hulk honey. We do have tons of Hulk honey. Um, I don't have a lot of skulk. I could do with a bit more skulk. Um, let's sell these uh, sower seeds. Don't need those. Don't. I'm not selling the crystal longsword because I need that for a Betel quest. Let's sell these. The bronze key. Don't sell the chrome key because you're gonna need that. I'm telling myself. You can see. Um, we could sell the laser pistols. They're actually like highly valuable. I don't know why. Um, wow, this thing here is a thousand rams. Let's sell copper nugget and the silver nugget because those are not really that valuable. I should make another trip to the rainbow wood. I mean, we're going to have to go to the rainbow wood anyway, but I, I should collect a bit more uh, cider. Yeah, this is fine because I'm the reason I'm going to be overweight is because I'm getting a bunch of bits that I will then uh, disassemble. And again, we kind of disassembled half of them and not all of them. I, I wish it was a little bit smarter about that, but it's fine. Uh, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, of things to complain about, uh, certainly it is very small, comparatively speaking. So we have enough microcontrollers or master units, I guess, to um, consider some like really decent upgrades. I am going to disassemble this a thermo cask cuz that AI microcontroller is going to do it for me. It's really going to it's really going to do it for me, you know. Um so we could consider well first I might want to throw a uh, upgrade onto our crystal axe, flaming crystal axe. Um where is that? We have so much stuff. Okay, so here we go. J j we could add jacked, sturdy, um, though it can st could still be destroyed. Don't know if that is the next thing. I think I had a couple things ahead of that. Um, jacked, scoped, handrail. So we could make that sturdy if we wanted to. I don't know if that's super worthwhile. Did I get another dithermo beam at some point? Or is that what I've been using? Uh, flawless crystal gauntlets, we could make that better. Scaled flawless. What are these? My shoes? Make them woolly. There's really not a lot of decent mods right now. Like, I, I've kind of gotten all of the best ones. Um, so, you know, I guess we could add jacked to the, the dithermo beam. Um, that doesn't even require a, an AI microcontroller. Uh, we could add scoped to the dithermo beam. Sure. And yeah, let's add um, jacked to our flaming crystal warhammer. We could make it sturdy as well. I don't know if that's really, you know, recommended. <sighs> okay, so, you know, we're, we're kind of 
like really well kitted right now. I don't know if there's much else we could go for. Like, you know, certainly there are better weapons, I think. You know, not that much better. Like, 13 pen is really good. Um, the die thermo beam. Like, if I got metamorphic polygel, I would. I think I would still duplicate our handrail. Um, I don't think there's a lot I would... You know, I, I think the only other thing that would be worth duplicating uh, over the handrail would be, like... Um, a time cube because we're going to need a couple of time cubes uh if you don't know what a time cube is it basically gives you a few f free turns uh it's like the most powerful item in the game and there are a couple of achievements associated with it uh highly valuable highly important um one of them is just throwing it into the mechanist's technology hole uh, it is worth 200 reputation with the Mechanimists uh, if you throw it in the tech hole, and that is going to get you an achievement right there. Um, another one would... Uh, it's just using it, because, like, you know, using it, that's uh, pretty... <laughs> like, it's it's that that important of an item. Um, so it follows Crystal Shard Mail. We already have that, right? This is a crystal shard mail. So technically we do not have flawless crystal shard mail. Is it worth it for one AV? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's worth it. We have so much money that it just doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if we have a flawless crystal coronet either. So I might consider that. What is this crystal of Eve? Hideo a hideous specimen. Uh, I don't think I've, I've, I've never seen that before. I'm going to buy that. And I'll buy the herb berries. And, uh, we're going to have to hand them quite a lot of stuff. But fortunately, we have quite a lot of stuff. Just an absurd amount of stuff. I think now is actually a good time to hand over these thermoelectric cells. I've been carrying them for quite a long time for an event such as this. Let's hand over these laser pistols and look at that. We're almost already on even. And just remember, if you think that I'm like spending all my cash willy-nilly on some, something that doesn't necessarily matter, please consider I have a chest full to the brim with jewels and gems and all kinds of nice stuff. And I can actually afford to like throw away a couple of salves, for instance, and... Maybe maybe a cybernetic credit wedge. You know, the, the sky is kind of the limit. We could actually sell a Taco Suprema. But that's like the good, good um, trade goods. <laughs> four drams. Well, I managed to get it to within four drams. So, uh, we are going to modify this armor so that it has a reinforced. And that will give it another... Uh, and also, just re just remember, I am going to be selling our old armor. It is actually worth doing this. I know it's it probably feels like hugely wasteful, but I, I would say I would say it is actually worthwhile. Um, I, I don't think I'm actually going to put Wooly on it because we're done with Bethesda Susa, and that is pretty much the coldest it gets in this game. Um, so I, I don't think it's really worth it. So I'm going to throw this reinforced. Shard mail on us, and now we are at what 21 21 AV. Hello, child. What do you want? Uh, the gremlin is demanding attention. Um, I could buy this weird artifact, it's probably a cybernetics. Like, oh, actually, you know what? Let's um, let's buy this other one. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I need to get rid of the refractory because. It's 40 drams. It sucks to kind of say goodbye to it. It's it's done really good by us. And, uh, you know, it's it's goodbye. And it's sad. But it is what it is. Um, what shall we get rid of to even up this trade? Probably some cybernetics. Credit wedge. Yeah, we just need to get rid of, like, one of those. I would need to... Uh, I don't have enough water. So let's trade something else. What do we, uh, what else do we have? I still need to use a nano near animator. Really speaks to my laziness. I could have gotten an achievement fairly easily 
like the last five or so episodes if I just took some time and used the Nano Nero animator and I just refuse. I just won't do it. <laughs> like, it's kind of insane. Um, trying to find something that I am comfortable trading for to, to even this up a little bit. Maybe an ontological anchor. Yeah, sure. An ontological anchor. We still need to even things up a bit. I don't want to trade that, actually. I meant to trade the Isakari Sun Veil. I could trade the Mirror Shades, but I kind of want to keep those. Sorry, I know I am, again, stuck in uh, item management hell. Um, and, uh, you know, it's probably not very interesting. Did I go to the Slimy Palladium Room? Tubakish? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I ended up using that recoiler. Maybe I did. Who knows? Uh, this sucks. Okay, let's sell a couple flashbangs. Okay, 114 drams. Let me just double check that my coronet is reinforced. Yes, it is. It's not just, oh, uh, sorry, it's not flaw. It's flawless and it is also modded with two-faced. So we're at 21 AV. That's almost like as good as we can get unless we like upgrade to Zeta Chrome. Again, that's like completely RNG based. I think eventually there will be a town in uh, added to Cud that has uh, Zeta Chrome, uh, you know, a sal salesman salesman that has Zeta Chrome gear, but not for a while. I wonder if we can. Um, who's in charge of like Eid Freehold? Maybe we could get the Slinth here. Uh, I am gonna go back to Ezra, and this is not gonna work, right? Oh, it did work. Did that actually use up my charge this time? No. I, I, I don't really understand what the deal is there. I think it's probably just broken. Okay, do you have anything cool? Crystal gauntlets. We're, we're beyond the need for this. Um, oh, you do have a skull conjector. I will buy that, and I'm just going to use straight water. And we're going to go and buy another recoiler. There it is. Uh, now I'm stuck in <laughs> this. Whoa, when did we get eight antimatter cells? I don't remember that. Let's sell one of those. That's kind of incredible. Oh, those are, those are meta crystals. Those give you meta crystals. These anti we have eight ma antimatter cells, and those give meta crystals. That's insane. <laughs> so we're apparently very flush. I, I could pretty much make whatever I wanted slash needed in the game. Um, incredible. That's, you know. Uh, yeah. Dang. I should uh, disassemble this folding chair. I honestly, I wonder if we could learn how to make small sphere of negative weight. We're actually kind of at the level. Well, we, <laughs> technically, we do not have any ARI microcontrollers, so unfortunately, we're not at the level where we could start making negative weight spheres. But um, you know, we're we're at the stage where we could consider doing something like that. We just need more bits. So um, let's try this we're gonna go use this palladium I, i'm sure i did use this and i'll know instantly if i did because the place will be pretty explored you discover palladium room tubicish it's a ruin in the palladium ruin uh palladium uh reef and there is a clam here we could do a bit of clam hopping i've done enough why are we being attacked by okay weird uh, we did do enough inventory management, so I owe you a little bit of, like, just shenanigans. I think that uh, clam hopping definitely falls into the category of shenanigans. That's a fun... This is a really fun little maze we've got going on here. Out of this, like, weird techno wall. I, uh, I really appreciate the techno wall. 
So we're actually good and we're good with this Vardim. Uh, they don't attack us anymore, which is kind of nice. I mean, the Svardim are the Palladium Reef's equivalent of the of Goat Folk. I don't. I would actually say they're not as dangerous as Goat Folk, which is a weird thing. I feel like Goat Folk seed sowers are just. They, I would dare say they need a nerf, because they're just disproportionately dangerous. Like I'm not saying. Uh, they're more powerful than they need to be. I'm saying that they just like, they are constantly a problem. Um, even at high level, I feel like I can't really deal with goat folk um, seed sowers. So where does that clam? Unfortunately, they don't really appear on the map unless you're like right next to them. Uh. Hmm. Where is the clam? There it is. And we hop. We hop into clam. And we got a new place. Anything cool here? We could still, you know, attack and fight Svardim. I mean, it's pretty valid. They're actually, like, really decent XP. Um, there's plenty of things in the Palladium Reef that can hurt us good. <laughs> Like, really hurt us. But, um, I would say the Svartim are actually on the low end of danger. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe, maybe I've just, like, got the right build that they're not actually dangerous to me. But they are pretty dangerous. Well, I am gonna attack this Sluggo. Because the Sluggos are pretty good, uh, XP. And they also drop those goods. And that eel over there is making its way downtown and I really don't trust it. I don't trust the eel not to wreck my 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 world. Um I don't know if we get any XP from those. This is just absolute chaos. <laughs> We don't get anything from those centipede nests. Did I burn the clam? I didn't burn the clam, did I? Uh, I, I do really hate those plants that um, just like turbo bleed us. Meds, bandage, apply. They just seem to like absolutely bleed us out. They, they suck a lot. Um, I feel like my clam got destroyed. That's a bummer. There's one of these. Yeah, I guess that's the problem with Temporal Fugue is, uh, Especially if you're using a gun that shoots two ways. is uh, Oh, we're two strata deep as well, so we're underground, which means I don't really have a way of getting out. We have staircase going down. That's kind of nice, right? You know what we could consider doing pretty soon is checking out some of the Baroque ruins. I feel like I'm, I almost feel comfortable enough doing something like that. I do think pretty soon I, I should consider going to the, the, the reef and uh, for the Pax Clan quest. Um, did the game just crash? No, it didn't. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some enemies. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Oh, no. Um, what does one do in this situation? Because they walled me off exactly perfectly away from the staircase. If I had teleport, I would be in good hands. I wonder if I could eat. Can we eat the fermented yonder cane? Do I have just a normal yonder cane? Okay, fortunately they charged at me, 
So this will make things easier. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was almost dangerous. <laughs> burrowing, uh, you know, something burrowing a channel in my brain is one of the few ways I can still die. We're getting flawless crystal aguses. Something's shooting me. Question, if the thing that created a force field dies, how is it that it can, the force field is still around? We're doing some really nice damage. From just the rail. Uh, this guy sucks. I hate him. Um, I think it's... I'm gonna take an herberry. We're gonna flurry. Kill them. Discharge. Actually, discharge probably helps them, because they're lightning-based, aren't they? We still get... We do get 800 experience from those guys, so as much as they do suck... They're not not bad in the grand scheme of things. There's quite a lot of these kaleidoscope um, slugs. So the problem with temporal fuging, I am going to temporal fuge, is um, they're going to make enemies to everyone. Because <laughs> as soon as they shoot something, they're going to shoot in two different directions. Uh... I don't know if I got the, 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 the good stuff, but I am going to attack this Svardim, make an enemy to them. There's 1,700 experience. Like, it's worth killing them for the XP. Like, we're, we're, we can take them out pretty handily. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, Let's leave. I think I want to go to the six-day stilt. Um, So that means we're going to go to Crit Gate. Probably I'll check um, for some bits at Gritgate. I don't know why though. Like the only bits I could see myself wanting or needing would be AI microcontrollers. And I can't even remember why. This is a specific reason for sure. But like, you know, what? Um, there's not really a lot of ways we can improve things. So, you know, we'll talk to Spare a few style. They'll probably have some nice uh, data disks for us. Arc Winder, Blood Gradient Hand Vacuum. Nice. You know, fun weapon. Oh, right. I have some programmable recoilers. I completely forgot about that. Those are actually pretty pretty amazing. Um, I would like to make use of those at some point. Uh, I don't think I want to trade antimatter cells. They're actually pretty valuable in terms of... I should just disassemble them, if I'm being honest. Like, they are worthwhile to have for... Um, Okay, so that's way more trade goods than we need. Uh, we'll do this. This is fine. Like, um... Completely lost my train of thought. So, yeah, it's gone. Oh, um, uh, metacrystals. Like, there are a few things we can do. We can. There's a few things we can mod, but I just don't see there being anything, like, as monumental as, like, an extra AV... Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and add some more stuff to this. Oh, I never ch checked out that 2,000 cost artifact. It's probably something really incircumstantial. You know, masterwork scoped chrome revolver. Big deal. Treat these as scrap. Uh, probably that's not it. Let's see what the other one is. Spacer rifle. Oh, rifle. <laughs> Damn it. I got excited there for a moment. <laughs> But still, that's an AI microcontroller. Is that worth uh, 2,000 drams? No. But, you know, at least we know what that is now. And we can, uh, you know, we, we can see it in the future. Um, okay, can we throw some stuff in here? Probably I'll throw in that box until I know I'm going to use it. I should learn those uh, data disks. I did buy them for a reason. Um, throw in this cr flawless crystal agus, why not? Uh, and the daggers. I mean, like, here's the thing. Uh, could I use some of this stuff for sure? Um, it, it is just, like, goods. But 
eh. May as well throw it in there and then we'll get some more goods. And that just like forces us to do some more ruin diving, which is always fun. Just like reset the clock. And like, oh yeah. How many days since we did ruin diving? Too many. All right. So let's, thank you boat. Appreciate you, bud. Let's go to the six day stilt. Why are we going to the six day stilt? Honestly, don't know. Don't, don't don't really know too much. We we are probably going to do some more ruin diving soon. Our next major stop is Rainbow Wood. Um, I'm not sure what I'd... Like, thinking about the Nano Neuro Animator again, I'm not sure what I would want to animate. Probably walls. I, I think walls are, like, the best thing to animate. They're definitely really good because they're handy friends. But, like... I don't really do well with friends in CUD. They tend to die, <laughs> like kind of instantly. Um, so, eh, don't need anything there. I did trade, give it, like put out all of my trade goods in a box and then decide to go shopping, didn't I? That was pretty smart, wasn't it? I could uh, make my way down into the asphalt mines, but I still don't really have a good method of dealing with uh, just lava so yeah i'm like kind of stuck on a lot of things oh, we could learn how to make a love injector that's good but we need um love blossoms to make use of that recycling i'm sure would be useful um freeze ray that was fun freeze ray is fun i like i like the freeze ray um so what can we trade as uh to even this up a bit uh, I guess a, a nuclear cell will just about do it. We have 100, 111, 111 drams left, so we're good. Um, so let's learn these data disks. Learn, 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 learn. And I don't think I can make any. I should make some uh, Hulk honey injectors, though. If I could make some love injectors, that would be... Yeah, I don't have any love, lover's blossom. Not sure where you get those. I'm pretty sure you get them from uh, the lo the creeping lover or whatever they're called. Um, and it is a random, very rare drop. So good luck with that. Um, it's uh, unfortunate, but I, I just don't think that the odds of getting one are, are very good. Uh, we could maybe do Bela would be a good idea to we need to find another two villages to make like love us in order to uh get the slinth to to join and i don't really have too many candidates we already did um well okay actually i should go back to um six days still because we did bethesda uh, not bethesda Susan, sorry we did great gate uh i think one of the other possible candidates is um the six day stilt itself because the mechanimus are we're pretty good with them right let me see what our we're at 855 are we revered yeah they are so i think if i talk to the pope then they might um accept the slint so that's two out of three. Oh, will they not will the the they not take them hmm I wonder if the six day stilt does not count as a, uh, I also forgot to drop off the books. 15,000 XP, that's fine. That's not enough for level. Maybe I need to go to the basement of Bethesda Sousa in order to uh, ask them. Like maybe that counts as a settlement and not uh, the stilt. So we'll, we'll make a quick trip to the basement of Bethesda Sousa, why not? Why not just like go to one of the worst places ever? I mean, it's cleared out. It's completely safe now. Don't really know what the deal is um, here. I need some more. I need like one more lover, uh, uh, love injector to make friends with that last troll. So. Someone wanted 
three Ezra recoilers. I think I do have three. Or maybe they wanted four. They probably wanted four. Four. Okay, so I don't have it yet. I would be willing to give up, like, my actual... The one I need. The one I keep. In order to, um... You know, just, like, knock that Betel quest off my list. It would be worth doing that. Okay, it's quite a long way down. I don't know what we took damage from there. We are we are pretty cold. I mean, we have, I think, crystal gear is good enough to actually resist the cold of Bethesda Sousa. Okay, let's talk to the high priest. Damn. So they won't do it either. Who, I guess, like, is there a actual um, settlement of the Mechanimus? And if there is, where is that? I've never really considered this before, but like our reputation with the Mechanimus is good enough that we should be able to uh, consider them. Oh. I don't know. That's uh, kind of a bummer, actually. Okay, well, um, let's go back to Great Gate. Why? Well, because the next episode we're going to do some ruin diving, and uh, i just like to set that up again. I probably could have handed in this five portions of congealed love for relatively cheap. Like, that's... I have one already, so I need, unfortunately, two uh, tonics to get the, the rest of the congealed love. You'd only need two in the first place, so it's just kind of, just kind of a bummer. Um, so I'm going to go... I've already done the ruin above me, so let's do the ruin northeast. And I'm going to clear uh, clear out the, the surface and then... Um, and we'll call it for this episode. We have a slumberling. I don't think they're worth any XP to me anymore. 52. You know that, uh, you know you're doing pretty good when, uh, you only get 52 XP from, from a slumberling. Moths are actually worthless. That was a low light laser turret. We're also, like, hitting snail mothers so hard that we we just crack them like a nut which is really fun <laughs> all right there's their staircase you're famished that's fine Are, we're not inspired unfortunately but we're gonna make a campfire anyway preserve some exotic goods because we actually have a couple that I'd like to preserve. We'll do the skulk injectors and um, I could consider try try to cook with other things. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to preserve all of my blaze injectors. That was really, really dumb. I <laughs> um, also want to preserve, let's do like five salves. And then we're gonna do three Hulk honey. But like the the, to the the tonic, congealed tonics are some of the best stuff to cook with in the game. So I, I wouldn't mind just kind of like dabbling and see, see what kind of com combinations we can make. Anyway, uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.